there are hundreds of AI tools out there for coloring pages and new tools being released every few weeks. I've spent thousands of hours using these tools to narrow down and find the best. Now the three AI tools that we'll be using to create our coloring pages are Midjourney, Dali3 and Leonardo AI. I found these to be the best tools to use to get the most consistent images. I do have a paid subscription with all three tools and I will put each tool head to head over five rounds by inputting the exact same prompt into each tool to generate images and make a judgment on the best tool. But I also want to hear your thoughts too. So starting off with round one and the image that I want to generate is an animal and the prompt is a coloring page of a playful kitten chasing a ball of yarn in the kitchen. So we have a subject which is uh, the playful kitten and it's chasing a ball of yarn which is an action and then the background should be in the kitchen. So let's take a look at what Mid Journey produced first. And I do like the look of all the images that has been produced. They definitely all can be colored in and there isn't any grayscale. All the images are very consistent and they are showing different actions with the kitten. However, the kitten doesn't look particularly playful or showing any emotion in any of the images. Only one of them does it look like it's actually chasing a ball of yarn, which is the first image, but let's compare it to Dali 3. Now Dali 3 only generates one coloring page at a time. So to keep it consistent, I generated four of the same images and we can take a look through them now. So looking at this image, the kitten does look a lot more playful and it is chasing the ball of yarn and we've got kitchen background. So I'm quite pleased with that. And then going on to the second page and third and then so in the fourth, it does follow our prompt exactly. Although in the fourth image, we do see some irregularities with the chair is missing a few parts and then the string looks like it's coming from the cat. But overall, the consistency of all four images is pretty good. So finally, we can take a look at Leonardo AI. And the settings I had in Leonardo AI to get the best coloring pages I found were Leonardo, Kino, Excel, and then I had Alchemy on and it's also on Dynamic. And this produced these four coloring pages. There is quite a bit of grayscale on three of them and one of them's in full color. The consistency across the images isn't always the best in Leonardo and you may have to do more than one generation to get the desired image. I wouldn't say the image looks particularly playful, but at least we have got, and we've got the yarn and the background of the kitchen, but these images would need quite a bit of work in order to reduce the grayscale. But overall for me, the winner of this round is Dali E3. It stuck the closest to the prompt and the images did look quite fun and playful. Now round two will involve finding the best tool to create a person. And the prompt for this is coloring page of a firefighter in uniform standing next to a fire engine. But let's take a look first how Mid Journey handled it. And Mid Journey has produced four very detailed images. So we have got the firefighter in a uniform and in all images they are standing next to a fire truck. Probably in the fourth one, you can't really tell if that's a fire truck or not. I'm not giving these tools too much information at the start as I just wanted to see which tool has the most creativity. And here in Mid Journey, we actually see the firefighter holding a hose in in two of the images. There is a little bit of grayscale in some of them, but it's not a lot and it can easily be removed. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of these images produced. Now looking at DALI 3, I would say it struggled with this prompt producing a person as in this first image, there's just too much grayscale to really use this. And then in the, in the second image, the firefighter doesn't even have a face. And the third image, there is strangely some pencils on the floor, which can be removed. And then in the fourth image, Again, the firefighter does not have a face. In a lot of Dali 3's images, it kind of has these little lines, which can be a little bit frustrating for somebody who wants to color in a page. So you need to do a little bit of work to get rid of some of those lines. 
Finally, taking a look at Leonardo, I think it also really struggled with this prompt. The first image that doesn't look like a fire engine in the background. And I would say in the first three images, there's just far too much grayscale to actually use it in a coloring book. But the fourth image does look okay. Overall, I would say Mid Journey takes this around. It's produced the best coloring pages that I would definitely use in a coloring book. For round three, we're going to be taking a look at some landscape coloring pages. Now, these are really popular on Amazon, so we want to find the best that can create these type of pages. And the prompt that I've used is coloring page of a tropical beach with palm trees leaning over the shore and a few small boats in the distance. And we'll take a look at Mid Journey first. And as always, it's produced some consistent quality coloring pages on its first attempt. Clearly see a tropical beach with palm trees that are leaning over the shore. However, the small boats are not all in the distance. With the first and second coloring page, we can see a boat actually on the beach. However, with the third and fourth coloring page, we can see the small boats in the distance. The fourth page looks a little bit more like a sketch illustration so you're not really going to be able to colour in the trees in the background unless you really try to remove the grayscale. But I do like image three out of all of them. Next up is Dali 3 and it's adhered to the prompt quite well. We do have the trees that are over the shore and the boats in the distance. And that is consistent across all pages. I think DALI 3 does the best with complex prompts out of all the tools. However, in the third image, there are some pencils on the beach which you'll have to remove. You can use something like Canva. And in the fourth image, a lot of the trees are quite dark, so you won't be able to color those in. But I was pretty impressed with those pages and I would definitely use them in a coloring book. Finally, Leonardo. And I would say these are some of the better coloring pages that it's produced, although there is still a grey scale on these images and that would make it difficult for some of these areas like the trees and grass here to color in. Probably only in the fourth image are where we see the small boats in the distance. So it's not done too badly with this prompt, but overall I would take DALI 3 as my pick. I would use those images as they're closest to the prompt and I think make some great coloring pages. Next we're on to round four and these are going to be quotes for quote coloring books which are very popular on Amazon and the prompt for this is a coloring page with the words believe in yourself in white and a black outline surrounded with small simple flowers and leaves that can be colored in. So we're going to continue following the same order of mid journey at first and I did try quite a few attempts to the right coloring pages but it just wasn't able to produce the words correctly and with the black outline it is still an area that mid journey need to develop. Going over to DALI 3 where it really sets itself apart with the, the first image has kind of done it as a mock-up for some reason, but we can still see the floral images in the background and the words believe in yourself, which can actually be colored in. However, the believe has been spelt wrong with an extra E, but that is near enough. And with the second page, I would say it really is outstanding, even though the spelling of believe is wrong with two eyes. I think that's a great quote coloring page. Then the third wasn't the best, but still had the floral images around it, but you couldn't color in the words yourself. And the fourth and final image came out really nice too. I like how it's kind of blended into the floral background, but in this instance, it's just misspelled the word yourself. Then looking at Leonardo, I was actually quite impressed with its effort. It's not known for being able to generate words, but I would say it's done a much better job than Mid Journey. But the clear overall win I would say with this is DALI 3. Even though a few words were incorrect, you can still see the quality that it does have. It usually does get the words correct, but in this instance, it did produce much better quality than the others. 
Finally, we are on to round five, and this will be Mandala coloring pages, which are some of the best selling coloring books on Amazon. And the prompt for this is a coloring page of a floral inspired mandala featuring layers of petals, leaves, and blossoms radiating from the center. So a first look at the results produced in Mid Journey show some pretty flawless mandalas. I personally really like the first and the fourth image. I think they fit with the prompt quite well. And you can see petals, leaves and blossoms radiating from the center. I think even if you go close up, you can see that the details and lines actually are intact, which doesn't always happen with AI images. So I'm really impressed by the quality of these pages. Looking at the DALI 3, from far, it does look like a good mandala coloring page, but the closer we get, you can see some blurry areas where the lines just don't meet. And that's what I was talking about before. I don't feel that these are quite to the standard of mid journey as the details are lost in some areas. And third is Leonardo, where unfortunately it has not matched the prompt at all. The lines are all over the place and it really isn't a good coloring page. So at the end of round five, I say Mid Journey takes this as it produced the best quality mandala coloring pages. Now the overall winner was Dali 3. It won three rounds, including animals, landscapes and words. It is my favorite tool for coloring pages, but let me know what you think. And if you would like to see a similar type of video with covers, then let me know in the comments.